Hey up YouTube. <sighs> Second time to charm. So, welcome to another bite size. What we're going to be talking about in today's bite size is what to do or what you can try to do if you want to save seedlings that have gone like that. So if you like the sounds of that and the other videos that we do of how to save money, how to grow things, how to grow your own food, please, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below if you've got any questions. But without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> Welcome back guys. So, what I hope we're able to do today, or what we're going to experiment with today, now what I've got is some, I've actually got some other plants as well because I wasn't sure if the great ham were going to do it, um, is some cabbages that have gone, they've gone leggy. The white stem and the, they've still got the seed leaves or the cottle leaves as I believe they're called. Um, these seedlings, generally you would say i'll bin them and start again but what we're gonna the reason i'm doing this in, uh, uh, in this format is because you you can do what's called potting up now normally generally only applies to a certain type of plant that can send out further roots from the stem like chilies tomatoes cucumbers things like that but what we're going to do for the sake of experimentation and for the sake of showing you guys what you can and can't do, what we're going to do is we're going to turn these into an idyllic little seedling like that. This guy, this one, was like these guys. And all I did was I emptied out in these root trainers, I emptied out all that soil, slid that down and then refilled it. Now. It's going to be a bit more fiddly because I want to try and get them all into into one book. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to do some side by side seesawing. So I'm going to have one book of ones that are, that are potted up, and one book of ones that are fresh sown, and they're all going to go out in the greenhouse. Because the reason these guys have gone like this is because the heat that they're getting at this time of year, being inside. Now, as you know, with my brassicas, what I do do is I sow them. Once they germinate, they go outside in the greenhouse or they go down to the polytunnel and that stops them being leggy because the temperature is low. And what I mean by that is the reason these guys have gone, Ooh, I need to find light is because the temperature of the soil is as such. So it's about 20, 21 degrees because it's on my windowsill. Um, the temperature of the soil is such that it's telling the plant you should be big, you should be growing, growing, you should be strong. But the sunlight is not strong enough, it's not long enough, and it, the plant isn't able to photosynthesize enough to, to build a strong young plant. Um, so what you do, what I do is you, you, you germinate them inside and then you get them outside as soon as they've germinated. You can harden them off if you want. I personally haven't found that necessary. Um, but you get them outside and what that does then is obviously you've done the hard part, the seeds have activated. Especially in the case of brassica, they're quite cold hardy. But you've got to get that first hurdle out of the way, they've got to germinate. But you put them outside, the cooler temperatures slows down the development of the plant, right? The plant, the plant goes, oh, it's not that warm yet. So I don't want to be looking for 18 hours worth of sunlight. I want to be staying nice and squat and I want to be focusing on root development and building a strong stem. It's not my time of year to start with, ooh, you know, growing right big and tall. And it's as simple as that. It really is as simple as that. And the reason I'm doing this video for the experimentation, like I say, is because some types of plants will take really well to being potted on or potted up or mounded up, depending on where you're from, it depends on what you call it. Um, now, please tell me, I know there are some more experienced gardeners that watch these videos. I don't think 
cabbages have the capability that, um, like I say, uh, cucumbers, straw, uh, not strawberries, uh, cucumbers and um, tomatoes, for example, do, where they can send out more roots from the stem. But please do let me know in the comments below if I'm if I'm wrong on that. But what we like I say, without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bottom sort of two thirds, depending on how deep the root is. We're going to remove as much soil as we can. We're going to slide the plant down, and then we're going to fill it back up. Normally, actually, what you do is you pop these on into a taller pot. Um, now. Before all you guys start commenting saying why are you bothering to do that with cabbage seeds? The reason I've done it with cabbage seeds is because cabbage seeds is what I had some leftovers from. I've got cabbage, I've got um, cauliflower, some, bro some broccoli. And the, the reason I did it this way was purely simply was that I wasn't sure if I was going to get the results that I wanted for the video. So please do bear in mind when you're commenting, I've done this on purpose. In, in the hope of showing you guys what can happen if you get it wrong. And I say, most gardeners, myself included, would normally just go, pluck, pluck, recycle the compost uh, and do some fresh sowings. What I am showing you is something that you can do. Say for example, you only had half a dozen seeds. So, you want to try everything you can to uh, to save those seeds. So what I'm, yeah, so, so what I'm showing you is what you could do to try and save these guys if you really wanted to. Um, so normally I wouldn't, but for the sake of YouTube land and, and you guys out there that are growing along with me now and that are learning as we go, this is something you could try if you wanted to. I would recommend if you've got sowing seedlings like this to re -sow. Um, You know, at the end of the day, if you've got seedlings like this, unless you're at completely the wrong time of year, it's not too late to re -sow. So, without further ado, we'll get this done. It's meant to be a short video. What I would like to do, guys, is just take this opportunity to, before we continue on the topic of getting new seeds. If you've got a load of stuff like this, and you're thinking, Russ, I can't be bothered or I haven't got deep pots, so head on over to our friends over at growseed.co.uk. They're a, a, an excellent source of seeds, especially for, for, for new allotmenters, new gardeners. They have all the allotment staples, broccolis, carrots, cabbages, um, cauliflowers, all, all the standard stuff, the stuff that isn't <laughs> usually that hard to grow as well as plug plants, onion sets, potatoes, things like that. They do all the advanced stuff, but they've got a lot of the basic stuff. Uh, I'm so happy to be able to call them the friends of, friends of Conversation Shed, and I'm even happier to tell you guys that they've given us a 5% off discount code. So anything in your basket, use code CONVOSHED at checkout, we'll get you 5% off. They do fast delivery, Anything they grow, anything they sell, is stuff that they grow and know themselves. So you can ask, they, they, they invite you to ask them questions if you're coming unstuck, if you've got issues, anything like that. They do a fast delivery, so if, let's say, you decide you're going to sling your seeds, they may be able to, to be honest, I'm not sure if it's available. I think there's a minimum order size, um, but they do do, depending on the time of order, uh, a fast I don't think it's next day, but they do do a fast delivery. So, you know, if you were to say, I'm going to sling these, you can have more seeds in your hand within a day or two, depending on your time of order and your delivery options um, for, for re-sowing. So head on over, growseed.co.uk, convo shed at checkout, we'll get you 5% off your basket. So let's get on with these. I'm going to, there's going to be a bit of fannying about because I'm going to try and get these two to sit at the side of this one, and then I can re-sow this with some new seed, so we can also do a side-by-side. -side. Um, obviously, you're not going to get a follow-up in this video. It needs time to see whether they survive. Um, so do hit that subscribe button, and what we'll do is we will revisit these, and you will get an update in a week or two. We'll see what survives, and you'll get an update in a week or two. So. They're going to go out in my greenhouse, and what we're going to also going to try and do in the same breath. The reason I'm re-sowing 
is we're going to try and do some colder germination, which will take more time. You know, you can germinate things like um, cauliflowers, cabbages, broccolis outside in the greenhouse this time of year. It just takes longer. You just need to be more patient with your seedlings. They will start to poke up eventually. So let's get on. Let's show you my plan. That's the reason I've used these root trainers for this experiment. So normally what you can do is you can pop these up into quite simply a bigger pot. But in this instance, that's not what we're doing. Clear, clear that out of the way, clear a bit of space. We'll see actually if this one filled properly, whether we're full of air gaps. We're not, we're not, no, it had filled properly, so that's good. That's good, I'm happy about that. And clear these two trays out, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hunt through here, and hopefully, hook of soil and put some more back in the bottom of there because I've uncovered the roots we've got a little puck of soil and what you should be able to see it on the little action camera down here I'm going to press this down into the bottom of the seed tray and in actual fact it's come up just a little bit because this seedling isn't that isn't as tall as its friend do the same with the other one I'll give it a poke get it out of the thing See, that's just broken off some of the tap root, so in actual fact I'm weakening that. Some people might say that what I've just done in breaking that tap root may cause the plant to actually develop more roots. We'll see, that's, that's part of the purpose behind this experiment. And that's it, that's it for that book. So we'll get this out of the way, try and tidy as we go away. Eh? Hold this up. It's going to be a bit of a fight, it's going to be a bit of a squish, and these things unfortunately aren't that robust, but a bit of patience, a bit of teasing, a bit of jiggling, should be able to close this back up. Slight issue there, but what will happen is once this is back in with the, ah, there we go, that's the once this is back in with the other box, they get squished together, so the soil's going to pack in nice and tight. Then what we're going to do is we're going to focus on one at a time. Like I said, this is a rescue mission. Take it nice and slow. I'm going to fill these tray, fill these holes back up, trying to handle things by the leaves and not the stem as much as you possibly can. Later. So once again, holding by the leaves as much as you can. Still not ideal with the seed leaves to be doing this, but right, fill the pot, give it a poke, push it down. central in the pot but this one's fighting me every step of the way it would be that first one went really well but I knackered up the recording this one's a little bit taller so it might be a little bit easier I've just jumped up to the giant ball of mud in it And there you go. And now I've 
got three sitting about where they should be. Um, so I'll just quickly show you these guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the chart that's on the end here because I think the majority of it is saveable. Just going to pull out the, uh, the already quite lanky ones. Mm -hmm. Um, this broccoli, looking at the sides of it, even these pots aren't deep enough for this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to re sow some of the cabbage in here. I'm not really, I'll do this off video. I'm going to re sow some of the cabbage in here and I'll, uh, I'll put them outside to germinate instead of germinating them inside and see how they do. So, all these guys gonna go on a salad this afternoon There's nothing wrong with eating them they taste lovely really cabbagey obviously because they're cabbages um, but I'm gonna re sow the rest of this now like I said that's generally what I would do anyway but I just wanted to show you guys sort of an example of what happens when you sow too early and, and a, an explanation as to why so for now guys I remind you check out growseed.co.uk subscribe to see how these guys do see if they survive um, you've seen me do it in Sunday's video with my chilies I'm experienced I know that they're quite happy to do that um, but yeah follow along and we'll uh, I'll try and give continual updates especially to the second sowing versus these guys here so if you like that if you like the sound of that and you think that's an interesting experiment. Please subscribe. Join us on Facebook, YouTube, obviously, Instagram, Twitter. I'm on all of them. You can find me questions. I do live streams. All that. So you can see they've not even bothered with a, with a root development. So until next time, guys and gals, I'll see you later. Thank you.